Hi, I'm Indra Iswaran. Welcome to my heritage home. My name is Indra Iswaran. I'm a housewife, but I'm also a hostess and a chef. My greatest interest is in my art. I developed this because I lived away in England and I used to sit in the libraries and I used to visit the bookshops there that were amazing. They had so much of book on art and architecture and I focused on the Indian art and architecture and what fascinated me about that was that there was a very fine line between the art and the religion. I loved the art side of it, the colours, the carvings, the beauty of it. I bought this house in 1970s. When I bought it, it was the first house that was in this estate. We decided to do a second development of the house simply because the house was starting to show its age. And I'm talking about 1997, 98, when we decided to redo this house. So my husband said, what do you want to do? I said, I would like to recreate my grandmother's courtyard house. And these courtyard houses are very common in the southern part of India. In the process of looking for artifacts for the house, I traveled a bit. Quite a lot of my art collection came from India. I bought antiques and paintings. I commissioned paintings as well. Now the carved pieces were done by a master called Pa Mago in Bali. He did 12 panels of the Ramayana for me. It took a lot for me to get him to do it. And even at 90, he put his hand to the stone and I was really fascinated with his carving because he had very fine work that he could do. This is the pot that my grandmother brought with her in 1890s when she arrived to this part of the world. She brought this from Jaffna. I saw the heritage and the tradition that was within it. That pot was used to boil water to bathe my father, for example. It was also used for all of us. We boiled the herbs and the spices in this pot to do the postnatal baths. And I still practice that. I used it even for my grandchildren. There's so much in heritage and tradition that should be preserved, like in the epics. If you preserve some of those epic paintings, epic carvings like I have, you still go back. It's just not reading a book. It's also visual. And they're told differently from a book in paintings. They're told differently in a carving, but yet it's the same story. And this goes on for century after century to titillate the interest of the younger generations to go back and read more about it. When you see a piece of art, you want to go and read what the background of that epic is, where the origins came from. And I think that the younger generation have a lot to learn from it. All these epics, whether it's the Ramayana or the Mahabharata, they are written for us to learn about the depth of human nature. And it has a lot of interesting stories that tell a moral behind it. It also tells about respect, about love, about not to take people for granted, apart from being beautiful paintings and beautiful stories and stuff like that. I think the deeper part of it is the feelings and the morals behind it.